We are back, tied up once again. This is a best of seven, two, two. Optic Gaming taking both games on the map. Biolab first, the search and destroy led by Formal. Now, it was all scumpy, basically going to work for the hard point. Elevate looking pretty strong in this series though. A lot stronger than I think anyone would have thought coming into this tournament. Yeah, they can't come out weak on this next map though. Riot S&D, one of Optic's better S&Ds. They're so good at just taking control of those top three buildings. Formal is basically unstoppable with the battle. Not sure if he's gonna go with the sniper at all, but looking dominant with both. This map is definitely gonna be the swing. Will Optic be able to finally take a lead in the series or they are gonna able, be able to improve on their s &D abilities. But Optic, look at them. They look extremely motivated. That listening was so much more dominant than we heard from Elevate. Elevate was a little bit calm, cool, and collected, just cruising to a win. Optic, gritting their teeth, doing their best to bite their way back into that Biolab, able to do it. Clutch plays overall, kept their cool, able to bring it back, even the series. Elevate dropped the first search and destroy, but that man that you just saw, Slack, dropped 15 kills just a few maps ago on Biolab. Now we go to Riot, though. We'll see if he can have similar success. He was getting it done mostly with the bow, and off the break, it looks like he is going back to the big boy. His teammate, Octane, also with the bow, while it's going to be TJ Howley opening up with the snipe. Looks like on the other side, Karma's gonna be pulling one out too. Sniper battle coming in. Let's go on board with Halley. See if these sniper battles are gonna go into a head-to-head -head fight. Looks like Elevate going with a little bit of a slower style on this first round of offense. Offense definitely the more preferred side on this one. So many areas to push and gain control of. Much easier to get that bomb down. Once you do it, you just wanna back up, take your side and sit sort of where TJ is right now and use that height advantage. Show you the key player on your mini map for Optic Gaming. TJ, of course, for Elevate, pushing up slowly. And Optic, they, they all kind of fell back after an initial push into the prison. Stun goes up, and Karma is going to get ripped. What reactions you just saw from TJ. First blood now to Elevate, 43 seconds on the clock. Bomb still needs to get planted, though. Flank is going to be coming in, and Scump did answer back. Yeah, good play by Scump right there. Formal on the flank, getting behind all these Elevate players. Able to pick up one. Tiger's just going to play his life now. Did the damage he needed to. Now he can just back up to his team. Slack trying to make a play at bottom speed, but Krim is there. 3v1. TJ left alive, and bottom green has a sniper. Ooh. Gets the hit marker on Scump. Kind of hits him in the leg. Needs to get that torso shot to get the one bullet kill. Good round from Optic. Have to credit that one to Scump. Able to get that kill on the bomb planter and get back safely. Very impressive snipe from TJ, though, able to catch Karma dropping back to his base. Great reaction time. Just a little sample of what's to come from TJ throughout this game, I have a feeling. Scump, though, you said it, he was the key. Bouncing back and forth, just scouting out at A while the rest of his teammates kind of fanned across B in the opening. Optic now on the attack will scroll through. Karma sticking with his variable scope on that sniper. And he's going to try and challenge TJ at the top. Battle might be going down at B as well. First blood goes to Krim indoors. And Elevate now is going to feel like it's a B push. Bomb not necessarily going that direction quite yet. Yeah, Optic able to get that first blood popular spot. Looks like they've watched a little bit of film. Almost gets taken out, though, by Slack. He goes there quite often. Optic was all over it. Now, two-person advantage for Optic. Trying to get this bomb down, not wasting any time doing it. Scump ready to plant now. Octane trying to make a move, though. Take up that COD Vision C. Doesn't finish the kill on the bomb planter. Trying to pop nades, but too late. Wasn't able to finish that kill. Saints now stuck in a 1v3 situation. Looking pretty grim. Has to get this defuse and all of the kills. Nah. Not able to do it. No way. Oh, Scum's oh. bringing the fire now. Here it is. Here's the hype from Optic. They know they've been struggling a little bit throughout this series, but now it's time for them to heat up. They're doing it right now. Perfect starts for Scump and Krim. Great flanks going on from Formal. We saw it on that first round. Not sure if he's going to be doing it on all of these defenses, but hitting that timing flank on defense is one of the best things you can do on Riot. You know, I've said it in the past, Optic bends, but they do not break. We saw that just on day one, game five, round 11, able to clutch up. It's been that way throughout this tournament. Clutching up in game two. Now they are all tied up after a big win on Biolab Respawn for some hard point action. You look through, Scump having a great game, 3-0. and Krim 6 off to a 4-1 and one start, was eliminated already, but again, they have the numbers advantage. As I say it, Saints is gonna answer on formal. 
Yeah, lots of trades going down in that middle of the map. Krim able to open up early, but instantly traded by TJ. Slack still starting a little bit slow. Saints has two to his name. Moving up towards the second floor. Looks like they're going to try and get this A bomb down soon, but playing it safe. Trying to spot out any of Optic members roaming. Kongo with the snipe in the way back jail. Able to pick up one. Putting this in a pretty tough situation for Saints again. Will he be able to hit this clutch? Plenty of time to work with. Optic's playing pretty passive here. Should Saints be going for the bomb or the kills in this scenario with 30 seconds left? I think you need to try and eight, isolate Karma with that sniper, but Optic is smart enough. They realize that they're in a weird situation. Still have to go all the way to the bomb. Looking pretty grim now. 20 seconds left. Will he be able to spot Karma? We see it on the COD vision. One v one about to go down. Stun's going. Karma just trying to waste time. Can't do it with that pistol class he was using, but trade was close enough already. Good stuff from Optic, not letting anything slip. Saints stuck in some pretty tough situations, but not able to have that same magic Slack did on the Biolab. Optic playing very, very well. Seth still with no deaths. And what I love there was Skump was leading Karma across the top. He drops back under, right. loops back, jumps up top, and is able to finish the kill on Saints. Just great positioning from Optic Gaming there on the defensive end. We'll take it over to Karma once again. Optic attacking with the snipe. In hand, Karma, not gonna see any action though, and here's Elevate, switching things up. They wanna get aggressive, try and catch Optic off guard here. Yeah, I like this aggression from TJ. Gets caught though, Forma was all over it. Can see sort of through those uh, thin windows in the garage, must have saw the push coming. Another tough situation, TJ getting taken out very early in the round. Optic has had the complete advantage throughout this entire map. We're about halfway through at this pace. Looking like a pretty clean 6-0 if they keep this up. Always ready to trade. Doesn't let anyone get away ever. Still playing slow though, trying to catch any of those Elevate players on the flank, but doesn't look like that's gonna be happening. Octane getting primed in position over at A, bomb. Gonna be thrown down. Let's see if Octane can do anything about it. Feels the pressure of the stuns, dodges both. Now seeing Krim, he's gonna be forced back. His teammates get the call. How will they react? Slacked up top, inside. You're gonna have Saints and Octane Looking to back down, and it looks like Slack is really just going to wait for something to happen here. No one from Optic showing themselves, and they come in on the flank that was formal this time. Saints hitting his shots, finally will be able to take out Krim. A 1v3, though. Saints has been the last man alive three times, has not found any success, and again, he is overwhelmed. Optic, a perfect 4-0 start here in Game 5. Yeah, sort of similar on how much we saw OG dominate the SD on Biolab. Elliot was trying to sneak back into that one, but Skump still know that getting that getting those bombs down at a early first bloods every single round so far. Always have a number advantage. Use it perfectly. Always ready for a trade. Looks like two players on Elevate still with zero kills. Slacked and Octane. Hopefully we can hop on one of them. They can get there first to maybe mount some sort of a com comeback. But the way Optic is playing is so methodical, so pretty much perfect, not letting anything go to risk. Ready for trades, team pushes, team shooting. Everyone has each other's backs. Is there anything that Elevate can be doing better strategy-wise at this point? Basically, they need to just calm it down in the early of the round. It happens a lot where that first player that goes for those bloods. Huge win from Saints at the middle of the map there, sorry. But when you die so early around, it puts your team in a very tough situation. And it's sort of a 50-50 style of S&D. When you go down so early, it makes the rest of your team play so passive. It's happened so many times for Elevate where they just don't feel comfortable making plays. But now, Karma in a tough situation, stuck in a 1v2. Yeah, and Karma doesn't have the right weapon for this scenario either. PDW, little extra ammo in the clip. But two opponents, and that bomb planted, this is going to be so tough. Octane waiting for him around the corner. Saints, of course, bow at range in case Octane falls. Yeah, I think Karma's best bet is try and get some height. He has that sniper. Maybe he can catch someone slipping. Did he see that front player at green? Yes, he does. He's able to catch Saints now. Stuck in a 1v1. Him and Octane in this oh battle. Oh, my the quick scope. Oh, my gosh. Karma with the flashy plays. Unstoppable. We've seen this for years from the guy. Not stopping anytime soon. Didn't even aim the scope in all the way, at least from our perspective. Huge round. Huge clutch from Karma. That's why you need to put a sniper in that guy's hand.
I wish we had an instant replay of that one, guys. The diffused you won't see again. So if you blinked, I'm sorry. Wait for the VOD to come out. I'll make sure to tweet it. One of the best plays we have seen from Karma all day. Formal with a Ben Q best play earlier with the ace. That's definitely the best play of this game five. Definitely the flashy play is coming out. OG eliminated there, but still the clutch play from Karma able to take it. They are not messing around with this one. Feeling the momentum. Optic trying to take control of their third floor. Octane is there to contest though. Elevate trying to do their best. Karma almost picking up one on the bomb. Octane gets the better of him though. All right. And finally, Elevate able to put something together. Optic was feeling extremely confident trying to make that round end very fast, but not in their favor. And, and this is great for Elevate. I mean, well, not great, but it's okay for Elevate. Pretty good right. thing to do. You got to take a little bit of momentum back away from Optic. You get 6 0 here, you're going to feel defeated going into that commercial. Two and a half minutes before your next respawn to get it back together. But Elevate, just try and wear down Optic. Just win a few rounds here, bring it back. It's unlikely you're going to win six in a row, but just get a little bit of confidence back for your team. Exactly. Just do some fundamental stuff. Hopefully it works out for you. Just get some gut fights under your belt. There we go. TJ finally showing some life in this one. Slacked falling up with another. Good stuff finally, but probably a little bit too late for Elevate Scump. Able to even it back out. 2v3 situation. Now evened out again. Karma coming up clutch. Fully able to make a play. No Octane is there for the trade. And now Scump is going to be the one that has to clutch up. Can he do it? Getting shot in the back. Good movement there. Elevate, there we go. A couple rounds string together. This is exactly what you want to see from them. You can't just get 6 0 You can't get put down that easy. Finally, some sort of success on the riot. That's right. And you saw Octane, four straight kills. TJ jumping in, getting some first blood action. A lot of fast play coming back for Elevate. They're not scared of Optic. They got to stay aggressive to throw them off. You can't let Karma go to work with that sniper like he did earlier. But we are going back with the two time world champ. Optic two rings and Karma not going to get challenged right away. Now he sees TJ and there is a face taken. Perfect spot from Karma right there. Just lining up that double jump. TJ has to do that in order to get an angle on the A Street. Karma was ready for it. Takes his face off. Slack peeking out a little bit too much. Krim able to take it. The old EG duo getting the first two kills in this one. Moving over, trying to take position on this B-bomb. One player we see on the vision is stuck up, but the back player, Octane, is taken out. Saint stuck in another tough situation. There it is. OG able to take it by clutch plays. That 1v2 by Karma. Definitely the best play of the game. Able to hit that quick scope by that blue dumpster on the retake. No primary weapon besides the sniper, putting it to good use. Absolutely, Teep, and we do have it for you. Shout out to production. Corey Dunn and crew getting it ready for you here in our Ben Q best play. A quick look at the numbers, nine and five from Crim Six, but this was definitely the highlight for me. Karma here, 1v1, Sniper just hits Octane, takes him out of the sky, and you see the reaction. Optic getting fired up. Crim Six is static after that shot. Yeah, that gives your team so much adrenaline after a shot like that. When you see your teammate able to pull off something basically impossible, just sort of boosts you up. Gotta love it from Two Rings himself. The flashy plays, he's always been known for it. Doing it again here, this time winning a round, making it 5-0. Optics in the lead. First time this series. It took them five games, but they're here now. We head into game six when we return. Can Optic close it out? Or are we going to a game seven? Uplink Detroit when we come back.